talk about the, you've got two more games to play, but, you know, what does that mean being a consensus All-American? Yeah, there's a lot that goes into that, um, a lot of hard work. Um, but obviously, um, I couldn't do that without these guys, these teammates, and um, everyone around here. Um, it's a team deal. Um, you know, these three guys that got, or four guys, um, they got that, and um, it's, you know, it's it's not an individual thing. Uh, I mean, we may be, you know, being singled out, but it's still a team thing, um, and it's credit to this team and, and what we've been able to do. We were asking Orlando and Baker about this. Last week, did you guys ever think back to 14 and you guys are all on the same scout team? You know, uh, it's, it seems like forever ago that we were, you know, on that scout team together, and um, it's kind of special to, you know, where we've become, where we've come today, and um, where we kind of, you know, progressed and, and worked through that, and, um, you know, it's cool to see, you know, you know, players get better and, and be able to, you know, come from scout team and to work their way up. What's your perception of, of Georgia's defense? And do you see, uh, because of what they do, your role changing? I mean, like, we, you, you have to block more than you normally do, or you still will it change anything that you have to do, you know? Uh, you know, they're, they're going to be a fast physical defense. I'm um, going to fly around. Um, obviously, you've got some really good players on that, on that side of the ball, and um, they're going to be very well, well coached. And, um, you know, haven't done um, too much game planning um, in terms of, you know, schemes and what we're going to do um, just yet. But, um, you know, I'm sure we'll get after it and, and get something good. Did you allow yourself to soak in last week, or was Georgia always in the back of your mind? Or? Yeah, you know, you, you got to take everything in. It, it was a once-in-a-lifetime experience, um, getting to do all that and, um, and then getting to go to New York with Baker and, and, and see all that. So uh, it was a special moment and, and a, a special week. Um, for this program and, and for us couple of guys. And um, I was able to enjoy it, um, but obviously um, our end goal is to win a national championship and um, George is in the way of that. So it, it was in the back of our mind. Baker said he was in awe of Herschel Walker from Georgia of all places. Were you in awe of somebody? Yeah, the um, person that I met was Eddie George. Is, he's a massive human being, um, especially being a running back. It's it's incredible, um, you, know, I, you know, just, Ridiculous how big he is. Mark, has it been tough trying to balance focusing on what you got at, at hand and then also thinking about perhaps entering the NFL draft early? You know, there's, you know, every week we, we've had singular focus and, um, you know, right now I'm not really thinking um, about that. Um, you know, that decision's going to come later, but um, the only thing that I'm worried about is, is winning this game and, and getting to a national championship. and. Um, so it's it's easy to do. Um, just stay focused, and you know I've been on teams where um, guys have started to to look other ways, and you know that, that really hurts the team. Um, so right now it's all about focusing um, on this game and, and, and each day and each practice. Your offense was on such a roll before the break. How do you make sure, or is there anything you can do to prevent rust? Uh, you know, just keeping competitive in practice. Um, you know, always you know going live against um, the defense and uh, the one defense and. Um, you know, Coach Riley does a good job of, of making sure that um, guys are out there getting good work and getting good game experience and, and ready to go. Um, you know, that's not going to be a problem for us um, not being ready to go. You guys are in position, you know, you know play for a, cha a national championship. You won a Big 12 championship. All of this, you know, while Lincoln became the first year head coach, what, what's impressed you most about seeing the way that he's handled that? Yeah, you know, it's really special, you know, what he's been able to do, you know, take over a big time um, program like this. And obviously everyone knew he's going to get to this point and um, obviously happened a little sooner than some might think, but done an incredible job. And if you think about it, you know, taking his first year and, and being in the playoffs at a program like this, it's incredible. Um, you know, everything's just been so smooth. Um, it's, it's almost like nothing's changed and from Stoops and from, from him. And I think that's a, a credit to. Um, you know, Coach Stoops and Coach Riley uh, having a plan and, and laying things out. Um, but, you know, just how smooth everything's been has, has been awesome. You know, you know him so well being, you know, being your offensive coordinator. Is there anything that you've learned about him now that he's a head coach that maybe you didn't know or, or just something that you think other people have learned about him that, that you appreciate? Yeah, you know, he's captivating. He's a captivating person. Um, I think his ability to, to affect everybody on the team has been huge for us. Um, so he's not only affecting the offense, um, he's being able to affect special teams and, and defense. And, and people have been able to see, you know, his work ethic and, and how he treats people and, um, you know, how he approaches the game and his mindset. And I think it's been really healthy for this team to, to, to not only have him on the offensive side of the ball, but have him on all three sides of the ball. 
Anything else for Mark? Mark, thanks. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Thank you.